So right, welcome guys to another video from me, Scarander. Uh, I wanted to do like one of these videos where, uh, well, since the Mega was announced, I mean, come on, <laughs> gotta talk about these guys. Uh, both Swampert and Mega Sceptile has been introduced, and other than that, we got Groudon and Kyogre as uh, primal stages. No idea what that's going to mean, but it feels like it's going to be, or hopefully like a new like stage that uh, Giratina had that was uh, pretty much in combination with an item that changed form. Uh, hopefully something like that, one might never know, I mean I'm just guessing at this point anyway, so we'll, we, we'll see more likely tomorrow when E3 starts. But well, nevertheless, uh, let's actually talk about Swampert now. He looks really buff now, yeah he looks like he gained a few pounds there. And, uh, well, it got Swift Swim ability, so now it's definitely like, we know that these, this guy is going to be most likely a part of the higher tier battles here from now on. Probably in combination with, you know, to Politoed for setting up the rain, and then most likely, if I have to guess, either Gudra with Hydration, Sap Zipper. Sap Zipper because it covers it rather well, because of, uh, well, the four times weak to Gross. But also hydration because it's really good in rain to just rest up and get back on track. Uh, so that is what I think is gonna happen. I mean, like I said, I'm just guessing right now. So one might never know. I might be wrong too. But I don't think they will like raise any of its like core stats at the moment because having 16 base as it is right now uh, in Swift Swim is more than enough to actually compensate to any opponent really. But I think they'll probably raise it for like 20 base just for the hell of it because they can't give it 50 base in defense and attack, obviously. Uh, so yeah, I think that's my thought on Swampert. I mean, there is nothing really special about it more than it is, well, now a lot stronger. It kind of feels like that. I kind of think that I missed out on giving it Sap Zipper or anything like that would have made it really overpowered. Uh, and I would love that because Swampert has been, well, Seems like he's been outnumbered by other ground water types that are doing his job a lot better. And I still think Sesmetoad is a better uh, Pokemon than Swampert because of the Drain Punch and using Assault Vest rather more effectively. Um, so, yeah, hope Mega Swampert uh, steps up his game actually. We still have Gastrodon and Quagsire, which pretty much outnumber well Swampert because of Recover. But yeah, I mean, that, that's about it. I mean, no further thoughts on him. Hope to see him in the Rain Dance team. There's sort of like the only way I think anybody would use him. And we have a few pokes that just that really well. And I do believe we're going to see a lot more Gudra with Sap Zippers just to cover him up. So yeah, th though that is, like I said, not the biggest point. We actually got this guy. So alright, introducing Mega Sceptile. Many people jumped on the bandwagon right away with this one because they just thought that, you know, being four times to ice because of the grass and dragon type, the dragon type, which is the new introducing of this Pokemon because of the mega form, uh, that this Pokemon is not going to be very durable in the higher tiers. You know, I get that. I really do because, well, let's face it, uh, ice shot is really, really common and it probably won't do too well in the higher tiers. You mean. Sceptile didn't take ice damage or weakness damage for that matter to begin with, so having four times weak to ice is definitely a problem. Um, but other than that, I mean, it got the lightning rod ability, and I know people think that that was somewhat missed opportunity. I see that as a good way. If you're a good player, then you know if you're going against, like, say, Manetric, you know your opponent going to Volt Tackle or a Volt Switch out there. Um, it's a good way to you know get a fast setup, and most likely with the Mega Form, Sepple is going to be even faster and even more, especially offensive. So I think that's a great way to actually, you know, great switch in. Can even switch into a suspect Thunder Wave. So I have no problem at all seeing how Mega Sepple is going to work. And like I said, an ice shot is a is problem. It surely is, but. You don't have to set up as easily with, uh, or you don't have to set up at all with Mega Sceptile because I am, like I said, so sure that this guy is going to get all the speed he needs to actually fret a lot of folks. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing this one in action. Sadly though, and I have to mention this, Dragon Pulse was a Gen 5 um, tutor move. So having just Dragon Breath as a stab move with, together with Dragon Claw kinda sucks. 
the Sceptile is desperate in need of Dragon Dance to work physically, since now he can't use Unburden, and you know, it would be really cool if he kept Unburden and the Mega Form activated it. That would probably cause a lot of trouble, but <laughs> other than that, I mean, Sceptile is going to be fast enough to deal with a lot of things in his higher tier. And hopefully, and I really mean this, hopefully, uh, it, it gets some new moves. It needs new dragon moves, and I do believe it needs new coverage move. So really, really hoping for a best tip for Mega Sceptile, because I do like to poke since Gen 3. And I had no idea what they were going with it, so uh, having light Lightning Rod is definitely great. It's going to prove a lot of like strength for it in double battles too, because it can defend a lot of things. So, yeah, that is my take on this whole odor. I mean, having the Mega Pokemon is not showing whether or not they're going to be durable or not, but most likely they will. And I mean, we have um, E3 here just around the corner. I think it starts tomorrow at, what's that, 12 p.m. here in Sweden. So it's going to be great. I'll definitely looking forward to it, and hopefully we'll see some new news about the Ruby Sapphire remakes. So, yeah. Not too complex, I just wanted to get this out of the way. <laughs> so anyway guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll upload a battle soon. So right, see you guys, bye.